What makes a great movie so gripping? I would say it's evoking emotion. Regardless of how technically impeccable a film is, if you don't feel anything while watching it, it won't stand the test of time. Dune may or may not make it. In a similar adaptation, The Fellowship of the Ring, the movie ends on a cliffhanger. It's not a bad thing to do that, but when comparing it to Dune, The Fellowship feels like a complete story, where Dune did not to me. Regarding the individual elements of the film, Dune is nearly perfect. Its acting, cinematography, sets, costumes, music, and audio were all the best they could possibly be. And as far as adapting a novel goes, they also pulled off an incredible feat. The first Dune novel is so thick that to have it condensed in one film, like the 1984 one did, would simply leave too much fallen at the wayside. The narrative has a midpoint break in the book, and 2021's Dune uses that as its conclusion for the first film. Given the material, they couldn't have done it better. What the team behind this did was an absolute masterclass. So now it's really just down to how I feel about the story. It didn't fill me with the same kind of emotion that other great movies had. One point of potential contention is in regard to how everything each character went through merely existed to funnel and stoke the fate of Paul Atreides. When going back and comparing the first Lord of the Rings story, with Frodo as the protagonist, it doesn't feel that way. Granted, these two story universes are going for completely different things, but a story is still a story and worthy of playing the comparison game with. The esoteric musings of Dune are on another level, and I love it. However, when you break down what a story is, down to its absolute core, it's an amalgamation of morals, retellings of history, and expressions of the human condition. In the Dune universe, there are many characters and houses, but they all seem to service Paul. In Lord of the Rings, there are many characters, and they all have their own stories, regardless of if it services Frodo's hero's journey. Now, with all of that, that's not the biggest difference between these two stories. Frodo has peers, and on top of all that, he's a commoner who's thrown into an extraordinary situation. That right there might just be the biggest difference. Dune is so popular and so beloved, but I think it's for the same reason Game of Thrones series is. It's a Victorian drama. We common people seem to love hearing about royal families and intense conflict, power struggles between the richest of society while we get to sit back and watch. That kind of thing has itself some power to it. Think about how obsessed Canadian culture is with the British royal family. It makes no sense to me, unfortunately. Though I do like stories about going from rags to riches. Each person has their own subjects of fascination, their own story interests, and that's perfectly fine. Art is supposed to be subjective after all. There really shouldn't be such a thing as a universally beloved story. It would defeat the purpose of art and individuality as a whole. With all of that said, with all of my flagging, disparaging complaints and concerns, you all must think I really didn't like the movie that much. But that's not the case. I swear, I actually really liked it. I appreciate the heck out of Denise Dune and plan to support it as much as I can while it's in theaters. Both he and Nolan are my two main reasons for making it out to the theaters, regardless of how good the stories are, because I know I'll be getting a visual and auditory experience unlike anything else. I haven't seen Dune in IMAX yet, so that'll be my next step. And with that, I'd like to urge all of you to go out and support this movie too. By going out and buying a ticket, it tells the people what we like. And what I like and wish deeply is for this franchise to succeed. Who knows, the sequel might be the one that makes me fall in love with it. That's what I want, for this story to be made whole. And with all that said, I give 2021's Dune a 4 out of 5 stars. See, it's still pretty high. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, fear is the mind killer. When fear is dead, only you remain. Bye-bye.